Hola Pisces, this is Tara Vites with your ex love interest reading. Let's go ahead and get started and see what's going on with your ex love interest. Okay, we got two cards. Okay, I didn't shuffle this enough. If they pop out again, I'll let you know. I shuffled it, but we shall see. Okay, what word messages and images are there for Pisces regarding their ex love interest? These don't want to shuffle. These are crazy. Okay, let's see. How does Pisces X love interest feel about them? How do Pisces X love interest feel about reconciling? What is going on? This is fucking crazy. How do Pisces X love interests feel about them? How do Pisces X love interests feel about reconciling? Apparently very staunchly against it. <laughs> Just kidding. Alright, um, how did Pisces X love interest feel about them? How did Pisces X love interest feel about reconciling? What is the X love interest current situation like? And what are the chances of them reconciling? What are the chances of Pisces reconciling with their X love interest? Okay, now let's get started. Messages are there for Pisces regarding their ex love interest. Now, just so you know, all of those things may not come out, okay? Those are just the things I like to look for. Ooh, two major arcana, and they're all freaking successful. Oh my goodness. Could be dealing with an Aquarius or even a Leo. But this says healing, good news, weight's almost over, and both of these together mean good success. All you need is the world to have the highest freaking success. I mean, everybody wants this. This is a reconciliation card right here. Everybody wants this, and you guys got it. And you guys are going to be so happy. <laughs> um, now, obviously, this can't be for everybody, okay? If you have one of these signs in your chart, maybe this is even more for you. But you're going to see the truth. You guys are going to see uh, anything is really possible here. Okay, so I still see a little bit of, I mean, I have two yes cards. But the fact that it says anything is possible is really a good thing. It means joy and truth. Um, however, this could be like anything is possible. Okay, but I feel like it's more in a positive sense because it's the freaking star card. Um, so, yay. <laughs> All right, let's get a little bit of clarification. Well, whatever it is, they really see you in a, in a good way because of the sun here. And with the star too, they see you. They feel fireworks when they see you. You give them hope. Um, they feel vulnerable with you. They think that you are a freaking fox, especially if you're a woman. They see you as very voluptuous. <laughs> All right. Seven of Cups, Daydreams and Decisions, and then Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles um, is about growing something, okay? Um, it's a strengthening bond, so you're growing this bond. You will. And the Seven of Cups, it says make the decisions wisely, but it also says daydreaming. And this tells me that this person is lusting after you with the Seven of Cups. It's all about temptation and lust. I don't feel like they're actually with somebody, okay? Because um, to me, they're very free and uninhibited. Um, but be careful because they could be a little reckless, um, even bratty perhaps. Um, and Seven of Cups is sometimes not, not really thinking clearly. And that could be you as well. But Seven of Cups is potential. It's giving in to freaking lust and fantasy. But you don't really know what's best. And there might be something a little off that you don't know about. Um, they could have lots of interests, okay? And maybe you're just one of them. However, to me, Ace of Pentacles is having only one love interest. So make sure you make it clear to them that you want to be the only one. And you want them to be the only one. And if they're not willing to comply, well, then you know where you stand. Um... But this tells me it's more like a crush or lust, and it's not really true love just yet, okay? I'm um, not, say not saying this is twin flame stuff. I'm just saying this is X stuff. Um, but it looks like you guys are going to reunite. Um, also, um, be careful because this temporary passion could lead to something more permanent, um, like babies, okay? <laughs> just so you know, because we do have the sun and the ace of pentacles. Um, and I feel like... There's just lots of charm 
and attractiveness. So I would like for you guys just to really focus. Okay, um, wrap it up if you're having sex, whatever, because we just, I see lots of unexpected options. Um, and I really feel like if they don't want something more stable with you, then you need to seek other options. But keep positive no matter what, okay? They lust after you like something, I don't know. All right, let's get your love advice. <laughs> wow. Dang, you might, I was going to say it, but I didn't say it. You guys might be getting engaged. Um, however, this could also just be a higher level of commitment. But Ace of Pentacles is usually the universe handing over this coin. And with the ring around it, it looks like a ring. And there's no deception. Or make sure you're not being deceived, okay? Don't wear a false mask. Be vulnerable is what I'm seeing. Because this can be a little bit of deception. But it's not truly negative here. It's about being vulnerable, not wearing that self mask that this card talks about. Interesting. All right, let's see. What are the chances? Because it does say there's a chance, okay? What are the chances and when? And we'll just have to see what comes out in the cards. It may not tell us either one. What are the chances of... Oh, these, the, wait, Virgos? No, Pisces, sorry. I was getting confused for a second. What are the chances of these Pisceans getting together with their ex love interest? Yes! With an exclamation point. Okay, good. All right. Now, okay, we'll see what that is real quick. There is an opportunity, and that's that Ace of Pentacles. Now, um, I'm going to be asking when. I may not get the answer, okay? And also, listen to your intuition. So, when um, is it likely that Pisces will reunite with their ex love interest? Oh dear Lord, please don't let my Pisces ex come back. Oh my goodness, please don't let my Pisces ex come back. Oh my goodness. Abundance. Interesting. That doesn't give me a time. Pretty much any time, I'm guessing. So we'll see if we can get one time card. If, if we don't get it this time, then we're just going to have to stop. Oh, okay. Wow. We got a few actually. Okay, it's not the right time, okay? It says you're going to have to wait. Um, or it will be a no. But it won't be an emphatic no with the exclamation point. So yes, you are going to reunite. But you're going to have to wait because it's not right. If you try to rush this, it's not going to work. So, probably like what I was saying, like, please don't let my Pisces heads come back. Because if they wanted to come back, I am totally not willing. So... All right, good luck, Pisces, and be happy.